So imagine if you can make tiny channel through which small particles can pass easily. What it can be used for? If you are guessing, this might be used to filter things out, you are right. Dr. Radha Boya, a researcher at University of Manchester, is credited to make the world narrowest fluid channel using graphene. Graphene is an allotrope of carbon with many astonishing properties. It's like a sheet of paper with thickness of just 0.3 nanometers. It is about 2 minutes stronger than the strongest moon steel, effectively conducts heat and electricity, and is nearly transparent. So how do you make a channel out of it? You put two sheets of graphene side by side with some distance between them, and then you place two graphite slabs, one on the top and one from the bottom, just like a sandwich. Graphite is again an allotrope of carbon made using graphene. And in Tada, your 0.3 nanometer channel is ready. Now a single molecule of water can just fit in this channel. Otherwise, you need to apply external force to make it pass through it. So what do you do? You increase the thickness by adding another layer of graphene and now you have a 0.6 nanometer thin channel which can easily allow the water molecules to pass through. The best part is, you can either increase or decrease the size of channel in multiples of 0.3 nanometer by either adding a layer or removing it. Also, the surface of graphene is slightly hydrophobic, means it does not like water very much. So the water molecules tend to stick together while they slide through the graphene tunnel enjoying their adventurous ride. It has been found experimentally that when the channel size is 0.6 nanometers, water molecules travel at a speed of 1 meter per second through the channel. One can make very precise filtration system since there is consistency in the size of the gaps. Experiments have also shown that this could filter out salt ions from water and another application could be to remove large gaseous organic molecules from smaller gaseous molecules. Do you know that graphene was made by separating single layer of carbon atom using just adhesive tape and a pencil? It's inspiring to imagine making something so impactful using materials which is found in your immediate surrounding. While the world still struggles to provide clean drinking water accessible to millions, let's hope that such innovation, when productized, will have huge impact in the lives of masses. Thanks for watching.